What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. So, I've had a couple of people express to me their disappointment in the video I did about LeBron going over to Saudi Arabia. Right now, they can't refute what I'm saying about LeBron. They just don't like what I had to say about the situation. And I was called various names. Comes with the territory. It is what it is. I'm just going to say this. There was a time when I thought about taking it easier on LeBron Ramon James. There was. There was a time when I thought maybe I'm being a little bit too hard on LeBron. But you know what changed my mind about that? What changed my mind about that was watching what these same crybabies did to Russ. These same dudes were screaming black power and man, we need to, we need to look out for the brothers and all of this shit, right? When Russell Westbrook was, at times, unfairly being condemned by the mainstream media for every Lakers loss, no matter if he had a triple-double, no matter if he shot the ball well, or actually played pretty good defensively, or was an all-around asset to the team in some games. No, in their eyes, every game, Russell Westbrook was the problem. And it got to the point where it started becoming personal. Personal. Skip Bayless went on a personal jihad against Russell Westbrook. That continues to this day. Where are these dudes at when it comes to uh, Skip? I don't see them in the comment section going at Skip Bayless. Where, where are these dudes going at Skip? For, for disrespecting a quote-unquote black man in Russell Westbrook. You won't find it. Because like I said before, I'm to a point, man, I'm 43 years old. I don't know how much longer I'm going to live. I hope to live to be 80, 90 years old, but, but at this point, you never know. I'm not on here to make friends. If we can be friendly, that's cool. If not, so be it. I'm prepared to be on this motherfucker solo dolo by myself. At the end of the day, you can't make me like this dude. Nobody can. You can't make me like him. That's what, and see, that's cultish, to be honest with you. It is. It's cultish. I can accept that someone doesn't like Michael Jordan. I can accept people hate him. He's a man. But these guys can't accept that. And if you don't, they call you all types of names and, uh, you know, wish you all types of ill will. And it's sad. I saw all last year and the year, well, really the year before that. I remember when they got Russ, I knew that it was going to be hell. First of all, from a basketball standpoint, it's just not going to work with a game with with AD, Russ, and LeBron in the lineup at the same time. It's just not going to work. And it was an absolute disaster. And don't get me wrong, the first two, two and a half months Russell Westbrook deserved 90% of that credit. I mean, 90% of that criticism. But even when he started playing better, if anything, the criticism got worse. And it became constant. To the point where he was criticizing Russ every fucking day. Someone in the media was criticizing him at least every other day.
And I didn't see anybody step up. I didn't see LeBron step up. I didn't see AD step up and defend this dude. Then there was this situation in the game when Russ stepped over to try to console him after a hard loss against the Bucks, when it was AD that let Giannis lose to score almost 50 points. But somehow, some way, people found their time to blame that loss on, you guessed it, Russell Westbrook. And it's the same game that LeBron and AD, knowing the cameras was on them, blew Russell Westbrook off or brushed him aside. So at the end of the day, once I saw that, once I saw social media going in on Russell Westbrook, going in on his family, going in on, you know, his intelligence, uh, you know, harassing his family, all this shit, <coughs> his kids had to go through, his family had to go through, and nobody cared, and these same dudes that was, was crying and moaning and complaining about me going after LeBron, but they were laughing and teeting about Russ. I said at that moment, that's it. I'm not, I'm not doing that no more. I'm going to tell you how I really feel about LeBron James. And you can shame me all you want to. You can try to shame me. You can try to call me a this and that or the other. You can put me in whatever category makes you feel comfortable. It don't work on me no more. Because as long as I feel like I'm telling you how I feel and not trying to cater to this race or that race, you can call me Jason Whitlock because some of my views run conservative or you might not agree with some of my points. But see, the difference between me and Whitlock is Whitlock caters to white people. And it's obvious. I cater to nobody. Yeah, I might big up Larry Bird because I think he's great. But I also tell you that Donald Trump's supporters are racist. So it is what it is.